Good morning. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you are wanting? More or less. A changing thing. It's nice to come together in this co-creative experience, yes? Where not only are you present with your physical focus, but the non-physical counterpart of you is present as well. We represent that. But you do not need us in this format to be represented by your non-physical format. There is always, always, no matter what, no matter how bad you are feeling, no matter how good you are feeling, there is always for you, always for you, a convergence of the non-physical part of you and the physical part of you. You know that? Your physicality confuses you because you've become so accustomed to experiencing life on planet Earth with others around you in this format, in this time and in this space, in these bodies, such good translators of vibration that you don't even know that you are vibration. You don't realize that you are consciousness that is playing out, playing out in very real terms, in very real leading edge terms, your beingness. Now, we don't play our beingness out in the physical way that you do. We don't translate through eyes or ears or nose or fingertips or tongue. The senses that you use are all vibrational interpreters. You know that. You know that? You know that. You know that? But you are much more of a vibrational being and much more of a vibrational interpreter than you are, for the most part, allowing yourself to acknowledge. And we want you to realize that until you begin acknowledging that you are vibration first and foremost and that you are manifestation second, that you are vibration first and foremost and that the vibration of who you are is always leading edge real time. It's confusing to you because you think you came from non-physical and you did, but you think that you began when you first got here in this body and that isn't right at all. You began long before you focused part of your consciousness into this body. And you extend long beyond the consciousness that is focused within this body. You are an eternal being, you see. So when you begin to acknowledge moment by moment that you are vibration, it will help you to extend your understanding of who you are to long before you showed up in this physical body and long after you are no longer focused in this physical body. It will take the sting out of what you call your death experience. There isn't any death. We, we call it croaking just to be as disrespectful of it as we can since there isn't any. It takes the sting out of the death experience when you accept the eternal nature of your being. But because of what you call birth into this body or death as you depart from this body, you feel very, first of all, limited. You feel rather short-lived. As you begin to move through time, you often expect decline. And for the most part, we'll just be blunt with you, you don't stay up to speed with who you really are. You don't live the real timeness of who you are. So as your life calls more through you, because it must, the contrast that surrounds you keeps causing you to ask for more. When you're sick, you want more wellness. When you don't have enough money, you want more money. When you are confused, you want more clarity. When you feel fragile, you want more stability. In other words, there's just this constant eruption, revolution that happens within you as you move through your day-to-day -day experiences. And we want to help you to focus here on the expansion that that contrast and that revolution causes within you. Because when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. Often our physical friends think that they are asking through their words. I would like a nicer house. I would like a better car. I would like a more loving relationship. I would like more money to utilize. But it is not through your words that you are doing your asking. It is through your vibrational synthesizing of life. Even if you are a one-celled organism, or even if you are a cell in one of your physical bodies, 
when you are having exposure to life and all consciousness is from the perspective of that consciousness you are always asking for improvement always asking for more it's what the evolution of all species is about so we just want to point this out briefly to you here that you can't live a day in this life experience without a lot of asking going on that's step one part of the equation of creation and when that asking occurs now it's a vibrational emitting it's a vibrational request that rockets out of you and the non-physical part of you the part of you that remains non-physically focused even while you are here in your physical body receives that rocket and becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you have asked for so right now in real time it's now you know when we began we say we are extremely pleased that you are here but a better thing to say would have been we are extremely pleased that you are now we are extremely pleased that you are now focused and the here is irrelevant because we are not focused anywhere on your planet many of you from all around the world are focused with us here today all of you here in this room have come to a specific space in this time space reality and all of us have rendezvoused at what you would call a particular time in this time space reality but we would like you to set aside all of that time and space and focus here focus here in the now in the real time but what we mean by the here by the now by the real time we don't mean focused in this room or focused in your computer or focused we don't mean focused in the way you think of focused in terms of of where we mean focused to the fullness of who you really are now to explain that the larger part of you has expanded and has become more as that larger part of you has expanded and become more unless you keep up with the more that that larger part of you has expanded to you don't feel good unless you are up to speed vibrationally with all that you have asked for no not just all you have asked for with all that you have become unless you are up to speed with all that you have become unless you are vibrationally up to speed with all that you have become not only do you not feel good but you are not living the fullness of all that you are and that vibrational gap between who you really are which is where we are who you really are and who you're letting yourself be in any moment in time that gap between who you're letting yourself be and who you are is what your emotions indicate to you your emotions indicate your vibrational allowing or aligning with all that you are or not we are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you standing on your chair does not help <laughs> in fact we want you to know that whether you are actually invited to the hot seat to express your question or not we are receiving you fully and over the scope of these hours that we are together today we will contemplate fully all that you are asking sometimes if you've been listening to the recordings after the fact you've noticed that the answer that Abraham offers seems broader or sometimes not even related to what you heard someone say is because we only have one answer and we have to make it fit everywhere <laughs> it's because you are asking vibrationally and your words are but a scanty part of what you're really asking about there's always much more going on vibrationally so whether you are here in this room or otherwise if you are focused with us here and there is that which you are wanting to know as you have contemplated it prior to this conversation that we're having together it is our promise to you that it is in the mix when we talk about co-creating at its best we're not just talking about you out there living your life and coming to awarenesses of what you would like to happen improvements that you would like to make in your life so that you can then ask the question so that then we can offer the answer so that you can then implement when we talk about co-creation at its best we're talking about the real-time eruption of knowledge that will happen within you as we are moving forward as Esther is preparing herself to allow us to flow through her it's really a process of just relaxing and releasing 
any resistance that might be present. So through meditation, as she releases resistance, her vibration naturally raises to the frequency of that which we are. So we meet in this real-time junction where there is no separation vibrationally or in terms of knowledge between Esther and her ability to converse with you and what Abraham knows. So we want you to understand that the same thing begins to happen with you. In other words, as you are here contemplating, as you are patient enough to listen to the rambling of our words, as you contemplate the carefully chosen projection of thought that Esther precisely translates into the verbal equivalent that brings you to a point of focus, as we rendezvous together at this point of focus, what happens is the knowledge that we hold descends and is accessible to all who are participating. That's why during a gathering such as this, you receive such clarity. That's why when you get home and they say, what did you learn? You say, really a lot. And when they say, tell me some, you say, no. <laughs> because the, it is necessary to be up to speed with the question in order to be up to speed with the answer. We just want to remind you that the frequencies of the questions and the vibrational frequencies of the answers are very different frequencies. So together we are dancing this dance where we're moving from clarity of question to clarity of answer. And it is our promise to you that this will be an exhilarating opportunity for you to discover the consciousness that is truly who you are, the source energy within you.